Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Midnight Mass for us. This is the third series in the Mike Flanagan trilogy, for as us. we're calling it, for because us. For us. I thought it sounded cool, so that's what I wanted to go with. But uh, this is episode one called Genesis, and I know nothing about it other than a lot of you in the comments really said you enjoyed uh, this from our previous Mike Flanagan shows. Yeah, if you're going to watch uh, Hill House, then you got to watch Bly Manor, and then you got to watch Midnight Mass. We weren't about to stop you know, two-thirds of the way through. So, um, loved Hill House. Bly Manor was still pretty entertaining. Eh, some things that would have changed, but everybody really highly recommended Midnight Mass, so I'm looking forward to it. Echo what these guys said. Ready to rock and roll. Let's go! You can oh, here's a hot start. Fender bender there. The old beetle. No airbags in that beetle. Oh, oh man. On my face oh, and he's oh got a weird combination of this music with this heavy of imagery. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing he did that, oh, or that, that was girlfriend? his girlfriend or wife or the passenger or driver of the girlfriend, other car. Girlfriend, friend, wife. Yeah. He's just having to sit there and watch. No, no, no. Oh God! Oh God! Oh! Oh! I, are in heaven. I'll be thy name. The kingdom come. They will be done. He looks like he's pretty drunk too. I think, judging by the glasses. Ask him why he always takes the kids, while the drunk fucks walk away with scratches. No my. Unreal. That was heavy. Oof. What the EMT said to him. But I mean, that's a story we've heard a lot in the news. You know, you see that happen. I, I accept this. Sentence in your honor. You'll be incarcerated for a period of four to ten years in the custody of the Illinois Department of Correction. The restitution amount that is owed is one hundred forty thousand nine hundred dollars. Jeez, that's Oh. Okay, so there is one character that's yep. back, or one actor that's yeah. back. Four to ten years for killing somebody. Was that the the woman on the from the accident in that picture? And that pillow ain't gonna do him any favors for neck support. <laughs> oh! That's all he's gonna see now. That is, that's the girl from the picture. We're gonna get some kind of yeah. lead up to it now? Oh no, yep. it's four years later. Let's see if they release him, huh? See what he's been going through. I was thinking they would do like a kind of a comeback and mm -hmm. show us. So get to the dock by nine. Otherwise, you'll miss the breeze and you'll have to wait for the bell. There's only two ferries these days. He knows the boat schedule, Annie. Our guy is back. Is that He's him? back, yep. <laughs> I'm meeting Ochre at the marina. Well, so you're not going to eat? <laughs> was that? Did that say Ochre? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's meeting Ochre. For Jesus' sake, Warren, no drinking. Your brother uh, comes home tomorrow. That's great, Mom. Well, Mm. Man, he he's at such a young age where four years is a lot. Hey, hey. Mike Flanagan's wife. <laughs> Had to figure she was going to be in this somewhere. Yeah, Miss Keene says you've been up to no good in the upwards, apparently. Her lips to God's ears. No. Her lips to my ass. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to go out, I go out. There he is. Don't wave the cash around. Jesus. Uh, he's he's cool. What if he narks? <laughs> I wouldn't. Come on, Bull. He, he can't help who his dad is. We had a deal. He wasn't part of that deal. It's kind of... Mm. Uh. Fuck my dad. That's what you want to hear, right? Fine. Fuck him. Fuck him all. Fuck the sheriff. Doing a deal with the son of the <sighs> sheriff? Time for supper, Lisa. Oh, was she in the accident? I don't know. I don't think so. It was four years ago. Some people like to keep it old school at their cabins. You bring a life jacket? What? A life jacket. No. If we flip, don't I'll get your foot under the seat, you're a drown. Is it not a good way to go? Is that a foreshadow? I don't know, man. Three people in a canoe in the open water. It's gonna be bad for you, man. Of course, I'm not gonna tell my dad. Come on. I patched it, so no more leaks, I think. 
Ugh. Oh, okay, they're not going too far. You got a flashlight? Oh, yeah. Got that. Looking for a place to go smoke. That's what it comes down to. You guys see that? What? Like a heron or a monster pelican flew right over us. It was huge. Just saw the wingspan. Well, I mean, that did have a nice whoosh. Mm. Uh, no, thanks. You don't drink? Not that one. Usually we just come up here, smoke a joint, he starts pining after roller girl. Hey, no disrespect. Those cats, dude. <laughs> it's just everywhere. I followed Bobby up here before I went to college. The only scary thing I saw was him fucking Heather Delman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen to these things. Shit. Jesus. Whoa. What was that? That one was kind of tall. There he is. All right. Riley's coming home. Ever appeal to you guys to live on an island like that? Negative. Me neither. How about any of you? Let us know. Yeah, drop a comment. Let's get you fed. You gotta eat. You is dead. Warm. Well, you know, they're on the boat. He, he just can't miss a shift. Not a single one. I can't afford it, but let's get you home. That was an that was interesting a, look. Yeah. It's an interesting <laughs> outfit. She looks familiar. More in the screen. Monsignor Pruitt was supposed to be on board. Did you see him? Oh, is she a nun? Uh, maybe he's going to catch the bell later on this afternoon. No, he said the breeze. Hi there. And that's, that's the, <sighs> the spine. She was in Sons. Have you had any spotting recently? No. Why? There's a little bleed in there. I'm not worried about it. It's very small. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh oh, what's she looking at? I guess he's home. Oh, boy. Morning, Sheriff. Hey. Morning, Annie. Ah, that's <laughs> our guy, Owen. 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 You were trying to break in, after all, into the general store anyway. Half past midnight and sweating pure Jim Beam, having at the windows with an oar. We would still be sweeping up glass if your aim had been any good. So you lock me up? <laughs> it's like the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> There's no point trying to stop you drinking. Yeah, easy for you to say. Allah doesn't let you drink. You said you're being followed by a giant albatross. <gasps> oh, we heard the flapping. You want to talk population decline? Let's talk about the people. The people on this island. We used to be hundreds. Now we're just dozens. This isn't a community anymore, honey. It's a very, very different tone she's taken. Mm -hmm. I figured this is the first time Sheriff Hassan has been with us for a storm like this. I'm still looking like he's going to hit us right in the face. Whether services are calling in a major storm. The biggest thing I wanted to talk about was our fuel supply. Sturge? Well, yeah, I'll make sure the pumps are off, as usual. That was just before sundown. So that the uh, watermen can fuel up after the catch. And then I'm thinking we make the classrooms available here for shelters if we need. We I'm sorry. You're new. So you wouldn't be expected to know this. <laughs> <laughs> We set out costs as a matter of rule, always have. Now we have the new rec center. It's not completely done, but, and it holds twice as many. I'm not sure holding twice as many makes a material difference when you do the math. You know. Bear it in mind for yourself as well. Unless you plan on hopping a ferry to the mall, you'll have to hunker down with us mm -hmm. too. And you'd be so welcome, of course. Makes me feel real welcome. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, no condescension there at all. Monsignor Pruitt said before he went on pilgrimage, he said... He's a little bit old to be traveling. I mean, he's going to be 80 now. The whole congregation pitched in. Two weeks mm. in the Holy Land. Well, he spent his whole life on the island. Mm. A chance to walk in Jesus' footsteps and his actual footsteps. <laughs> you should be so lucky to be as fit as him at his age. He's losing it. He held up the host three times during consecration the other day. I felt ridiculous from ringing the bells. People have been seeing him wandering around at night. I feel like mm. the dad's starting to kind of... Uh, he's, he's, he's building build. midnight mass. Yeah. Even if he was getting a little bit scattered. He belongs here on the island with us, not in some home put out to pasture by the archdiocese. Who knows who they'd send in his place? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with him? We're about to find out. I had any ambitions past Acolyte myself. No one likes a downwardly mobile altar boy. I was really only in it for the chicks. You know, man in uniform. Mm -hmm. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. You gonna sit here at this table after what you? Oh boy. Yeah, he's he's been holding on to it, big time. And make jokes about altar boys and Monsignor Pruitt. 
You were going to church tomorrow, Riley. Dad. And every other Sunday, you can consider it a condition of your parole. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Out of A's, I'd use a I was four. Say they just ran out of A's. Uh oh. Monsignor. No, oh, this isn't going to end well, is it? Oh, let's oh. see what happens. Oh. I'm so relieved you're okay. Waiting I'll just for let you. myself in. <laughs> oh, oh, this is it was the the Monsignor's home. Well, who brought the, the wait? The 80 year old brought the trunk in. No, we saw oh, the we guy. Saw. We saw. I thought it was the kid, but yeah. I wonder if Miles brought that down. Yeah, well, they must have had somebody deliver it for him, maybe. Oh. Of course. Mm. Got to give us a tease. Yep. Go back to some cats tease here. cats. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy-ass cats. I like cats. You know? I don't mind them. They can just be creepy sometimes. <laughs> oh. That. Ooh, something had some dinner sounded good we got to be quick to catch a cat like that too i was waiting for a jump scare you guys (laughs) that's what i was thinking you should sit back then during communion that's proper assuming you haven't been to confession and i'm assuming you haven't that'll upset your mother you not taking the sacrament but wouldn't be respectful if you did good night (laughs) <laughs> hug handshake, hug handshake. <laughs> hey at least he tried yeah well i mean and you know he's got to be the dad who has the kid who did this terrible thing and he's got to live with that too yeah, so the you know there's yeah. something for him to carry there as well no phone okay i want to hear you texting i can hear you texting <laughs> the sheriff can hear everything all right that's what all parents say kiss your mother oh so they lost her mom Good night, young man. That old man. It's up on the wall there that they're highlighting with that light. Uh, st- street rage. You scared me. It's just me. So oh, that's, that's kind of tough. like a, a mid montage we're getting here. Yeah, kind of what everybody has to deal with. It's a poster for Scream there. I missed it. Yeah. What was that? Oh, oh he's bag. sneaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Busted. <laughs> the moment of, oh shit, is he cool? Is he cool? <laughs> oh, is he going to see her again? Yeah, they yeah. that same shot of him yep. then sideways here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Got to assume this has been going on for four years. Yeah, straight. and he's yeah. been seeing it every night. Except he's, he sees it and it doesn't like freak him out. You know, no. he's just calm with it. You know, like in Bly Manor when she saw her ex with the glasses. Yeah, she, like freaked out every time. Yep. This is weird. It's, it's really weird music. It's hell too. <laughs> I got loud. <laughs> Not real loud. <laughs> Noted. Mm. It's gonna come back, oh, isn't it? All the A's are gone. Yeah, you see that there mm-hmm. was no, except that one. Multiple. You want to feel the cruets? Yeah. Somebody already did. That's okay, the second time. The second time we haven't gotten the reveal of the uh, the Monsignor. Is that how they say it? Monsignor. Okay, so they have a history as they were talking at dinner. Mm-hmm. Is it he's, history? Is he just interested in her? No, they had a little history. That guy's not 80. No. Are we going to get some weird I found the fountain of youth <laughs> kind of thing? or uh, they just, Nobody knows there's a new pastor. Uh, third tease. Fourth tease. Good morning. Okay. I'm Father Paul Hill, and I was sent by the diocese to fill in for Monsignor Pruitt for a few weeks. He fell ill, I'm afraid, on his trip. He's fine. Just know I'm only here to help, and I look forward to meeting you all. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, seems like a nice enough guy. Yeah. Lisa Scarborough. How do you know my name? Monsignor has told me all about you. He says I'll see you at daily mass, and that it may just be the two of us. I am so sorry to surprise you like this. The diocese was supposed to contact you directly. Please, golly, it's such a joy to see a new face. <laughs> Is this supposed to be Ned <laughs> Flanders from The Simpsons? <laughs> I noticed you sat back for communion. It got rather <laughs> quiet, <Yeah>. didn't it? <laughs> He's not exactly in a state of grace right now. Turns out I'm not much used to people who are in a state of grace. Uh, Jesus, he didn't really have that much interest for those kind of people either. No, he seemed to go straight for those folks who weren't in a state of grace. They were his favorite people, turns out. They were the ones he called friends. Yeah, we can work with that. All right, what a positive uplifting guy we got that here it's a very nice thing to say prodigal son i think uh you're the prodigal one can i walk you home oh yeah let's walk so i saw a photo of them in the house yeah so maybe they were a couple i didn't catch that i feel like we're we totally missed something i thought well we'll let it roll take it easy on us <laughs> what about you chicago Financial stuff. Went to school, party too much. Shocked. Made a lot of money for a bit. S stocks, a startup. That all, that all went away. Married? No. No. You? Yeah. I mean, technically, it, but it's over. It's also a long story. Mm -hmm. It's a long walk. A lot of time to read in there, and I read it all Torah, Quran, Talmud, Tao Te Ching. Judaism, Buddhism, Islam, Jainism. I figured if I was looking for God, I should look everywhere. This is a long shot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And you're pregnant. Yeah, I am. But that's the story. It is and it isn't. Littlefoot saved my life. That was one hell of a monologue yeah. by those two. Yeah, and a long shot. In... The walk and talk long shot? Yeah. It's just you're wearing a gold shot of both. Isn't that for feast days and special? <laughs> Shouldn't it be green today? I'm afraid I wasn't able to locate the green chasuble this morning. Well, in the future, let me know if there's an issue. That's what I'm here for. I can order more as well. I'm sure I'll find it. I just need some time to open up all the cabinets. She's not the most likable character. No. Is she? <laughs> now, does that make you think something sketchy about him? But at the same time, he went through the full yeah. mass. Like if somebody was trying to be a total fraud, yeah. would they be able to do a full mass? How are you, Riley? It's kind of the whole thing. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I just exist. No. I'm just sitting in my parents' house breathing and serving no purpose to anyone whatsoever. I'm just living. And that's the worst part. You shouldn't be alive, Aaron. Right? Here we're going to get it. Hmm? I think we got it. Yeah. Walk home now, eat dinner. Right out this fucking storm. There you go. Do that. Ride out the storm tonight and then tomorrow. We'll just see what tomorrow's all about. Find another project. I'm sorry for what you've been through. Let's see what the storm's all about. Yeah. It's been the main premise so far. Well, not the main premise, but one of the highlights. Something that's kind of tying everybody together, you mm -hmm. know, is the storm and how they're going to react to it. And... I swear that's uh, the lady right there, the mom. I swear she's the mom in the Brady's, like the old school Brady's TV show. Oh, I can't the, remember mean, her name right the now. Brady Bunch? Yeah, the Brady Bunch. No, the that's, mom, the, that's not the mom. She was part of the Brady Bunch in some, some way. Guys, help out Diamond I'm Dave here. I don't the think The mom so. from the Brady not Bunch. Not the mom, she's but. Like, isn't she like 80 or something? Dude, that no. show was like in the early okay. 80s. It's the Brady's in the some way. The Brady Bunch years. in some way. I right, swear. Let's let's take a different look at her. It's not the mom. Not it's the not mom. Alice. Sorry. Let me take that back. Not the mom from the okay. Brady Bunch, but she's part of look the Brady. Uh, you guys seeing that? That tote was filled with black water or something. Let's see. It was just the way it was well, reflecting. Open. And like they're teasing something that's in there. Well, they just did the overhead shot. You guys are talking about the Brady's. Something's gonna happen here. What's happening? Oh. What's happening? Oh boy. I mean, that would be kind of crazy. 
Oh, oh there what we go. The f- that was the member the the uh, the fedora and the long coat that his brother was talking about. Oh, Wait, he's out there just walking on the beach. What? No, he's on the mainland. Okay, well, maybe he came back and he wandered out having one of those spells. I'm not seeing anything. I don't. See I swear, it's the hat, coat, I know the outfit, and it's him. No, he's on the mainland. It's Pruitt! Oh. What the What is that? Took off running. Yeah. See how, like, long and skinny the arms and legs yeah. were? Yeah, kind of hunched over, like a hunchback. Yeah. Oh, he's going to disappear. Yeah. Way. This is... Wow. Hmm. He was just gone. <laughs> what the hell? Eh, only one night of bad eh. weather. Eh, a little little messy. I was going to say, that would be kind of freaky being on an island, knowing that there's nothing really. It's just a wide open sea. Yeah, and there's nowhere to go. Dad. Who's that? It's all the cats. Is that what it was? It was cats? I, it was quick, but... Yeah, it was something small like that that the seagulls were nipping at. A lot of seagulls hovering <laughs> around. What is it, all just cats up and down? Oh, the it's, oh, they're all washed up. All the cats. All the cats from that island are washed up. That the, was the almost whole just shore. perfect placement. Yeah, look at that. So oh. whatever... That is nasty. I'm waiting for the albatross. Yeah. Oh, there's the one they showed us. Yeah. That's the one that got caught. I thought seagulls. (laughs) (laughs) I thought seagulls only ate french fries in parking lots. (laughs) All right. I'm kind of kind of hooked. Guys, that was episode one of Midnight Mass. And I I can't speak for you guys, but I think I have a little bit of PTSD from watching the Mike Flanagan series. Uh, a couple of things during that long monologue walk that uh, Riley and uh, I'll just call her Miss Green. I, I, I didn't get a first name, but while they're having that long walk, I was looking in the background for some kind of <laughs> ghost or something going on. But I'm like in my head, I'm like, okay, it's daytime can't possibly happen. But uh, Riley's story is a real interesting one. And I think we see that with, you know, not only people who maybe get out of some kind of prison or institution, but you know, you hear a lot about that uh, with like professional athletes where they go from this life where they had structure and their whole day was planned out and thought out for as long as they can remember. And then suddenly they have almost like a freedom and they don't really know what to do with themselves. And obviously his situation is different in that he's carrying uh, the guilt of what he did. Obviously he still feels terrible about it. And he's just trying to find some kind of purpose in this world. So I I found that really interesting. I like the um, kind of the layout of of Riley's family. We kind of got to know everybody's personality a little bit there. The mom had the one moment where she seemed a little bit weird when she was talking about uh, kind of the whole church set up and the island and and the people. So definitely more there. The new father who came in, uh, I, I made a note that seems like a very nice, warming, uh, helpful guy, but you know, you see actors sometimes and they, you just know when they have a face where you're like, okay, he's a nice guy, but I think he's got the kind of face where if he wanted to turn it and flip it, he really could. So I think there's some potential there on, on what's going on with that part of the story. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks like another really in-depth story that we're used to seeing from the other two series that we saw where a lot of character development uh, with just enough uh, shocks to kind of keep you hooked there a little bit and interested. So I'm really excited to see where this one goes. Yeah, this was a very interesting episode. Uh, it felt a lot different from Hill House and Bly that there wasn't uh, there wasn't as much of a, a haunting presence, I guess you could say, although the, uh, the Monsignor or, or father out on the beach running up and down. Yeah. He's supposed to be eighty. He's yeah. running up and down the in the beach yeah. with uh, with his uh, his coat and his hat on in the middle of a storm. So that was interesting. I really like the character development they gave us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, Riley's character. Um, you know, he's obviously ridden with a lot of guilt, um, as you know anybody in his situation should be. Um, it's uh, you know. 
knowing that your poor decisions uh, led to, you know, ending somebody else's life is, you know, something that you have to live with for the rest of your life. I think it's interesting. You know, the, the sh- it's interesting that the show showed him after four years in, in prison mm-hmm. um, because, you know, for for you know essentially what equates to homicide that's a pretty pretty slap on the wrist sentence but i don't know how things uh, are handled where he was or the circumstances yeah i mean maybe he had a lawyer because he talked about he made a lot of money before so maybe he was and able he just, to kind of buy just his talked way about out of the it a sentence, bit. so he just said he accepted it so maybe a plea deal or something yeah. like that but uh, his character development was good um it was interesting they had um you know uh aaron green and and, and riley they both left and found their way back to the island um mm-hmm. You know, Aaron didn't really give us that good of a reason, but, you know, she was pregnant and, you know, she's a teacher now. So maybe there's, you know, familiarity at the island. Sometimes it's easy to come back to a place that you're used to. But so it's a really interesting story. The, the cat's all washing up at the yeah. end. It's like, you know, maybe the storm flooded that little. That's the only thing I could think of is that the storm flooded that little island. And that's what would have taken out they, the cats. They, well, they talked about the bodies uh, from the graves floating up in the storms and washing up in the uppers where uh, where Riley and company what, live. What was it that took out the cat? Oh, exactly. It, then it, yeah, that's... It was, the thing the, it was the thing the drunk guy saw, the big pterodactyl or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the albatross, <laughs> albatross taking out cats. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, but uh, look, it'll be interesting. I did find the priest's character to be interesting. The fact that they they very much pointed out that he wore the wrong, wrong colored robe. Um you know, it, it leads you to believe that maybe Bev's her name. Bev, yeah, maybe that he's out of place. He's not a re, you know like fake priest or whatever. But if he was able to lead a, a congregation, um, albeit a small one, that are active churchgoers through mass, through mm-hmm. a communion, uh, you know, it, it, it would be hard to just take somebody off the street who's supposed to fill in as a pastor for a day and like, yeah. uh, oh, what do we do now? You know? <laughs> so, but it was very interesting that they brought that up. He seemed, the when he was dragging in the trunk, it was like, you, you wouldn't ask somebody for help. People in the town didn't notice anybody coming in. It was just a surprise. Like, uh, how did nobody see this guy dragging a giant trunk up to the pastor's home, um, so the, I don't know. He, he gives me a, he gives me a weird vibe. Uh, this whole show gives me a weird vibe, yeah. but uh, it, it's definitely similar to the other ones in regards to just kind of sucking you in with that first episode. Like, yeah. all right, gotta gotta watch another one, gotta see what happens. Yeah, uh, let me start off by I was way off. Uh, Annie, uh, Kristen uh, Lehman. Definitely not part of any Brady series, uh, Brady Bunch series. So I swear she looks like someone from the Brady's, though. So don't totally fault me on there. Uh, so again, way wrong. Kate Siegel. That's I keep saying it's Mike Flanagan's wife, but it's Kate. Uh, her name's Kate, so I got to remember that. Uh, so I'm bad with my names here. But uh, just kind of like these gentlemen were saying, uh, I think this episode did a pretty good job of uh, at least hooking me to see what's next. Um, some of the stories so far that they kind of laid some groundwork for us on was uh, actually, I think, quite a lot. I mean, there was a ton mm-hmm. of dialogue in this first episode, at least in my eyes. Oh, absolutely. And that walk and talk that Kate and Zach, well, we'll say Aaron and Riley, the characters, uh, that walk and talk they did was, I think that has to be, let me know in the comments if you made it this far. I think that has to be like a Mike Flanagan signature of trying to get somebody uh, or some continuous. character where they get a continuous long shot of some kind of monologue of some sorts because that we've seen it in uh hill house yeah fly and now yeah, here this yep. was really good and just the the environment that they walked through mm-hmm. made it like super clear yeah. that it was all like one long mm-hmm. shot it was done very well and what's nice about those walk and talks too not only are they trying well depending on the director but uh they try to obviously give you that dialogue right but in those shots they want again most of the time they want you seeing you know everything yep. in all the people in walking that around background, uh, to kind of give you a little Setting. bit more lay of the land yep. kind of thing so i thought they did a pretty good job with that walk and talk of giving us uh, more into the small village town there again uh great to see some of the cast because i came in thinking that uh this had none of the cast uh from previous ep- uh, previous seasons so I'm happy because for at least for me, my investment is a little bit more into this now. I've uh, seen some old uh, faces 
or familiar faces, mm -hmm. I should say. What do we have? So, um, four. We have we got Sarah one, Gunning. two, three. We got Annabeth, and then the dad, uh, and then uh, the drunk dude. What's his name? Oh, yeah, five. So five characters. So we have uh, one. Yeah, five characters. Yeah. yeah. So I'm happy to see that. To be honest, uh, I think that's kind of it from my review because I want a little bit more. I like the groundwork that yeah. Mike Flanagan left them. The one thing I wanted to ask you guys was with that walk and talk. It it felt to me like the dialogue between the two characters was all just kind of nonsense and fluff until they got to the end, till they got to the house, <laughs> until Riley actually said you know, what he was kind of going through and what was going on. It just seemed like everything beforehand was just kind of like the usual fluff you do. Hey, how's it going? You have a good morning? There's, All right. There's history there. So well, I'm yeah. Fluff. I mean, that's the thing is if you hadn't seen somebody in that many years and obviously you had some sort of history like, so what's what's new? What's been going on? I think you would try to like feel out before you dove right into. Well, yeah, and I'm not saying know. they dive into. Oh, since I got out of prison, I've been seeing this, you know, this image and 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 all that. But it just it didn't seem. I don't want to see say it didn't seem important. But I was just waiting for them to get to something, and then when they finally did, it was like, okay, that makes sense. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. it was. I thought it was yeah. pretty well done. So. No, I, I think it's. I think you're right, Dave. Uh, with tip. You're not going to be confrontational right away with after you have whatever history they have, and then X amount of time go by and be like, mm -hmm. "Hey, so heard you got pregnant," <laughs> you know, yeah. like little things like that. Heard, heard you're in an accident. <laughs> Putting so, it nicely, but yeah. so the the uh, the buildup of feeling each other out came to a halt right there at the end, where mm -hmm. she was going to push it a little bit with the "How are you?" and then he, after the second time, he kind of just let it spew out. I don't think she was yeah. anticipating like a full, you know, explanation like he gave. But yeah, yeah I mean, he's he's kind of like a dog off a leash. I don't think he, Riley really knows what to do. You know, he's just trying to find himself. Ah, but we did see purpose now. Yes. So now he has yep. purpose right there at the end because he was saying he didn't he didn't feel like he had it, but now. Oh, I'd seeing that figure. He's going to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> he's going to have the, the yarn on the board and all the arrows and stuff and That's the clippings. That's what I think is going to happen. So. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Good episode. Yeah. See absolutely. what happens. All right, guys. Well, for the Appleton Oak, that's Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine, and that was Midnight Mass. We will see you guys back on the next one. Oh, starting off with the cats. Ugh. Seagulls on oh. French fries. A kid over there poking him with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Warren, come here. Did you tell the mayor and Miss Keene to keep off the shoreline unless they have gloves and galoshes? I'll be over directly. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose you don't know what did it. Could be some bacteria or. See these ladies off the beach, would you, Warren? Wait. We need to talk about that in a bit. Sorry, no need. I can walk on a beach just fine. Thank you. Yeah. Here's my dirty hanky. You'll be fine. <laughs> what the heck? You know, I remember 2002 whole flock of uh, starlings it was starlings hundreds of them just fell out of the sky covered the beach the whole towns never did get a satisfying answer lots of theories lightning noises disease whole pot of dolphins once too on the west bank more than a dozen and they had bites missing and now here we are again what in the world <laughs> a predator huh Ospreys, maybe, or some kind of uh, shark. I don't know, maybe lots of baby sharks. Jesus. <laughs> Why, well, sure, could we burn him in case it's disease? Get him in a pile and burn him and keep people back if you think it smells bad now. And that seems a little drastic. You know, we've had strange things happen before. It's public safety. Really? And they'll thank you for it, right? Their mayor isn't willing to gamble with public health. Guys, was that just one long, continuous shot, or is it just me? <laughs> no, that was. <laughs> Yeah. It uh, hasn't yeah. stopped. Well, he wants to be a part of things. You know, we really would love to see you two in mass one of these days. Not for the convert, mind you. No, no, no. You've got your faith, and well, God bless. Nothing but respect. And I know that you hop the ferry and you spend your Sundays on mainland for mosque, but... Fridays. Oh, Fridays. Well, then you're here Sundays, which is perfect. <laughs> You put in an appearance, you know, maybe did a reading, help announcements. You don't have to sign up for membership or anything. Just <laughs> this guy just... <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Riley? How's it treating you being back? Prayed for you every week. We certainly did. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Man, see myself out of this conversation. <laughs> Better start burning these cats. Got a boat to catch. Greener pastures already? Nah, I got a meeting. Something dead? No. Stay away from the cats, all right? I don't want you catching toxo 
cat loafers or whatever. Boy, this cameraman is earning his money. He is just yeah. following everybody and <laughs> and now a break. <laughs> That was impressive. What was that? I think it's like six minutes straight they just did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was trying to look in the sand to see if they oh, had marks. Oh, you can see the smoke coming from the island. 400 yeah. in the red hymnal. Holy, holy, holy. Please rise. Oh, he got his green uh, Yep. Green outfit. So, folks, we are sorry that we missed the uh, trunk scene. We'll make it up to you. Oh, it's a little light today. <laughs> A little bit of a small congregation for Mass today. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Interesting the way they're going back and forth between a uh, uh, religious service and AA. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the different places people go to try to find themselves, I yeah. guess you could say. I've lived here my whole life. Sure, but there was a before for you. It was pointing you here. And you know what that thing is that's pointing us where we're going? It's God. Oh, what does she see? Was there a history here? Morning. Something's awkward here. Yeah, come on, bud. I mean, he was the guy that was always locked in the clink for being all gassed up. I think he is Lisa. responsible for that injury. Oh, I'm fine. Maybe. I shouldn't say injury, but the situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some interesting it's, music we yeah, got what's going on here. Yeah, creepy violins here. Aaron, <laughs> you surprised me. Uh, what do you need? What are you doing with, mm -hmm. you doing with thinner? Your mother used to put back the empties right back into this closet, half of them filled with nothing but water. Sometimes she was so against waste. I'd have to throw them out myself. I would say, Peggy, <laughs> Peggy Green, you are gonna bury us in bottles if you keep it up. And here you threw it away. Isn't that just a gas? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is funny because at home, she never met a bottle she couldn't empty. Oh, oh. 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 ouch, uh. wow. Got no uh, rebuttal for that one. <laughs> what's she doing with pink what's that? Oh. Ugh, oh. rats. I plan to just sprinkle a little bit outside the house just to be safe. I could do your house as well, if you like. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Of course you will, dear. <laughs> she just gives off a weird vibe. Mm -hmm. My mother is... Was very devout. Well, here's the thing. Mom, someone's here to see you. Oh, he does house calls. Oh. No, she thinks you're Monsignor Pruitt. Sorry, she's confused. That's an easy mistake. Same Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, come to celebrate Mass, young lady. Well, this is an awfully nice thing for him to do. He's got his little... Little, little pocket. I'll be in there. Pocket ceremony. If she starts to have an episode, come get me. Of course. This guy's like all in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, small island. He's dedicated. He's easy to like too. He's got such a like a calming demeanor about him, which leads me to believe that maybe he's actually going to be some kind of like. He's creep got that or face something. where he could make the twist, though. I think. Yeah, but let's not forget about that trunk. Mm. Blood of Christ. feel like that one's kind of a slow burn for him. Are you really walking by without saying hi? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Have you ever woken up and went to AA on the mainland and thought there's got to be a better way? I'm listening. So our patented Aaron routine starts with 40 minutes of morning sickness. Huh, go on. <laughs> Then city council, where you will be kind of, but not really, slut-shamed by Bev Keen. Really misses your awful mother, by the way. And that is followed by an hour of evening morning sickness. Is evening morning sickness worse than morning morning sickness? Oh, substantially. See, for those reasons, I am out. <laughs> Just get going. I want to keep my parents waiting. Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> I remember 15-year-old uh, Riley sneaking out of my bedroom window, 
trying to make curfew. Uh, a little, uh, a little confirmation of their history mm -hmm. here. You too. Which they're doing a pretty good job teasing us like it could happen again, Saturday but will it? Morning, look out my window. Oh, they made him young in that one. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like, <laughs> like ten years older in ET. There, <laughs> finally getting the beard. Time. Oh, she can't see. She, yeah, she's losing her vision, maybe. Or just bad glasses. It went on she doesn't need him anymore? And left me. That's weird. Now Hi, honey. That's very weird. Whoa, are we going to start seeing this? And I feel like I Immediately my head is going, okay, what did she do that was different than everybody else? You know, maybe I'm thinking way too far ahead. Okay, are we getting two for two as in episodes of this? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to see her again. Yep, there's the lights. It's total acceptance. Oh, so now okay. that's filtering in. Yeah. You know, seen that poster, I've mm -hmm. got to add that movie to the, to the list, list for me. Yep. Oh, I can't Forget believe you've never seen Seven. <laughs> I haven't. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this the, this is the whooshing again. The albatrosses Remember, or the something. the dude was saying something about yeah. a big pterodactyl. Yeah, that's what he said. Albatross. Albatross. That's what I thought it was. This kind of reminds me of the opening of Beetlejuice. Smoke, kids. It's not good for you. No. It's going to take him out? Yeah, here we go. I think that's what's going to happen. Right where he is. No, that was some abandoned house, wasn't it? Yeah. Like well, he, he was went, by... Went through the roof of an old abandoned house. Oh, he must have been going in there to, to smoke, see? That's where that'll get you. Because if you saw, like, where the fence was and everything, mm -hmm. if that looked like where the kid was... Oh, that makes in sense. ...in front of. Now, I'm not saying he was going in there. Yeah. Why is that? What, what's so special about today? Ash Wednesday, beginning of Lent. It's hardly a crowd pleaser. The, the beginning of repentance, making mm -hmm. amends for our sins. This darkness, this blackness... Oh, Mom's not wearing her glasses. No, she doesn't need them anymore. Jesus sees you, sees you best of all, and he sees you true. Because don't forget, who did he seek out? Who did he turn to to build his church, his apostles? You seem like he's getting a little bit into this. Very. Mm -hmm. It's great you're here today, but please keep coming back. Those doors, they're he's, always open. He's trying to s sell them on passion is what I'm getting yeah. at. Yeah. But I could be wrong on that. Restore us. We sing to the sky, and he will, my friends, he will. That same hand that dealt you your hardship, that same hand will make you whole. This guy's got me ready to run through a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty intense, I'm not going to lie, I mean. And to dust you shall return. Remember you are dust. Lorraine, remember I mean, you are dust. The story itself, aside from his passion, was, was very interesting. No, no, remember you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Part of me kept thinking about Vince and... Sean. Dust. Oh, Sean. Right. It's okay. Just go ahead. Money, it's not a ah, see? She's keeping the glasses off, gentlemen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Remember you are dust. And to dust you shall return. Bless you, son. That's an interesting shot. Amen. Could have been just simple. Well, first person, first, yeah, you know. Perspective. You are dust. And to dust you shall return. She's like, if you notice, my cross is much straighter than yours. <laughs> and bigger. <laughs> Come on, you know how it works. The catch goes up and the subsidies go down. The bumper, right just the bumper. Right? I, I can't do it. Even I just can't. Now. I wish I could. It's gone through. Talk and shop. Mm -hmm. Well, it used to just be a spring festival. But then St. Patrick's came in. And we coined the fray, you know, crock pot luck. Tried to make it really something. <laughs> well, we're... Uh to be here yeah yeah hey i'm gonna go hang out with lauren yeah, have fun 
<laughs> Quick escape. Are you glad you came? Oh, it is a cello. That's, yeah. No, it's a bass. He's standing up playing it. The cello, you sit. You can stand or sit with the cello. Either way, someone let us know. It is, though. Everything you said. You've got to get out of here. I think with this kind of music, you'd, you'd strum on a bass. It could be a bass for this. They have had the same old Monsignor here since before I was born. And he would stare at me just like that all the time. Even back when I was a kid, I remember it freaking me out, thinking, he knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly, he knew. <laughs> Okay, now I'm sold. It's a base. <laughs> what do you mean sold? It is a base. There's no selling. Jeez, it's guys. a base. <laughs> Plenty of problem drinkers, especially these days. One full-blown alcoholic already who's responsible for the drunken hunting accident that paralyzed little Lisa. Oh, oh hunting accident. Oh, we know. Can you imagine that? The good you could do just by skipping a trip to the mainland? Sorry, do you mind if I interrupt? Not at all, Miss Green. Really enjoyed your homily today, Father. Oh, thank you. Beautiful day, isn't it? God, he's Think such about a what I said. Guy. Don't hurt feelings either way. I, he, I, he's kind of like my favorite character <laughs> in all three seasons of all these shows. Is, <laughs> is the new, the new uh, pastor. pastor? Oh God, but we got a hot dog. <laughs> oh, little Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Night after the potluck was not great at my house. I'm sorry. Everywhere here. Her memory. I work in the same job. I live in the same house. Sleep in the same bed. And I'm alone, just like her. And I, and I keep telling myself it's only temporary, but... You know they like her. I remember that much. You're gonna be... Fine. Great. Teacher, as a mother, whatever else you do. It's a lot I don't know about you anymore, but I know that. You're gonna be great. Why? Dude, I honestly thought someone was yelling outside. <laughs> I, oh, did, did he eat did the somebody, hot dog? Somebody poisoned his dog. Remember, she had the the stuff for the rats. She never liked that dog to begin with. Uh, was it Bev or whatever? Was that her name? It was her. She did it. It was her. I guarantee it. What happened? Who did this? Who did it? He's going to think it's the parents. The helpless little dog. Oh, my God. My... Any idea what happened? Yeah. It was poisoned. And that's what happened. See, she oh, knows. She knows. Did anybody see him eat anything? Maybe he got into something that he shouldn't have. Maybe it was a horrible accident. An accident? Dogs can eat a lot of stuff before they get real sick. Come on. Let's go, everybody. You heard the sheriff. Let's go. Let's give them some room, huh? Well, she's officially my most hated character uh -huh. in any show we've ever watched. Yep. Try to just keep in mind that it's yeah. a TV show, yes. David. <laughs> Morning. You're up early? Yeah, I was hoping maybe I could help out on, on the boat. Well, you're going to need better shoes. I'll go see if I find something. All right, so Dad's coming around a little bit. Oh, maybe, yeah. Funny how the pews empty back out once everyone has their ashes, isn't it? Maybe if you weren't so condescending, they'd be happy to come to church. Oh, look, Dad, you're back. Oh, no. That's, it's, it's okay. I'm good. Good. Not much in those pods. No, it's not like deadliest catch. You, straight home. No funny stuff. Uh oh, what's going to happen here? She's going to confront her. After those cats, not knowing what on earth could have done it, I put some out strategically, carefully around my property. A few others requested I do the same for them. And if that were dog, if it ingested some accidentally, well, I'll just be a wreck. Is that what you're telling me? Please, if that's what occurred, if you're certain, well, I don't know if I'll ever forgive myself. Fuck you, lady. <laughs> God, I, I just fucking can't. I know it's a TV show. <laughs> I know it's a TV show. Anyone else? Tend to have access to those chemicals. Well, I should hope so. They're for the whole island, after all. We just store them here. Heck, you walked right on in here, didn't you? If you had wanted to grab a gallon, who'd have known it? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're getting at, and you were right. I should really lock these up. He didn't say a thing. Nope. 
Not one thing. She just spewed all that yep. off. You have a good day, Beth. <laughs> you do the same, Sheriff. Oh, he's on her. Do you guys remember who was in the scene when she was complaining about the dog? Was he, was he there? I don't remember who was in that shot. Helping my man Joe. Same as every month. He keeps my Jenny going, changes the filters once in a while. And if I search your pockets, that's what I'll find. Air filters. Well, if you try to search my pockets, you'll probably just find a fist up your ass. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pike got into something by accident. There weren't no accident, okay? But you know what, Sheriff? I didn't expect this would go any different. Not with me, not here, not with her. She killed half the island with that fucking settlement. What's one more dog on the pile? Look, I hear you, Joe. Settlement. Settlement. Leave it there. I know Beth Keen too, right? Not as well as you, but enough to know you're not wrong about her. You're not wrong, Joe. Thank you. I just need proof. Yep. Come on. I want to talk about this place. Right well, here, Bev Keen was uh, encouraging people to take the settlements from the oil companies, almost. Those settlements, okay. And there's Bev Keen saying, go ahead, take the cash. It's a gift from God. And maybe give a little back to God while you're at it. And they do. Take the money, they turn around, they hand some of it right to the church, which, with Pruitt being sick as he was, means they really were giving it to her. <sighs> Small, starving villages with big, fancy churches. Bigger and fancier while the towns dry up. Churches just popping up like that. Plump little ticks sucking the town dry. Okay, so I said, we can safely say you're not practicing. It's not the only game in town, as far as recovery, you know. Have you ever heard of RR? RR? A for pirates. <laughs> God can take our work. Even our, even our awful works and turn them into something else. I know he can find the good in them, find the love in them, whether we see it or not. That I know. Riley Flynn. That I know. There they are. Mm -hmm. Well, high school romance. Okay, so what was that? It's the albatross. It's the He's albatross. Call it the albatross for right now. <laughs> okay, you're not totally freaking out. Oh, I'm sure there's a part of her that's saying, "What the f?" <laughs> like last time I checked, I live alone. Unless that's Riley sneaking out of the window, like back in high school. Just give me the heebie-jeebies. I gotta, I gotta get my. Jump scare, jump scare sideways. I, I get less I jump scared. Those lights. Yeah. <laughs> I get less jump scared if I'm sideways. <laughs> Better stability. It's going to be Mr. Skinny Legs. Oh, look at the eyes. See the eyes? That was him. That was who Riley saw. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Took me half a second, but next time say left screen. <laughs> I thought pointing would help. Top. <laughs> <laughs> Top center, middle center, bottom left, middle left. Nine o'clock. We have to have calls. Nine o'clock, Dave. Uh, you hold your hand through this. Oh, thing. here we go again. Just creeping, watching her in the bathroom. I never liked having low bathroom windows. <sighs> After what she just saw, you're not, not just gonna thing. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh -oh. If you hadn't, if you'd waited until tomorrow when something really was wrong. No, honey, that's why I'm here. You did the right thing. Here, listen. I was wondering if they're going to give us the yeah. sound on it. Hey, baby. See? Baby's just fine. Mom's a little worked up, though, little foot. <laughs> it's just because she loves you, though. Thank you again. Of course. Now she's got to walk back to her house after seeing that thing? Yeah. <laughs> good news, the steps. Dave. Yeah, the good news, Dave, is that I think this is more mystery than. Sarah! Whoa! Sarah! Jesus, mom! Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dave! I thought I saw your father. His clothes. I thought it was your dad. See, she saw him outside too. It's not getting any easier to tell you. No, it was something else. It came right up to the window. She's a hundred percent right. She is. In her right mind. 
It's everybody oh, gonna see. Oh no! So this was like a red shirt right here. So, and that's that house. Yep, that's the house it went into. And the door's open. It looks like. Oh yeah. Now it's open. There's. Yep, that's our our drug dealer here is gonna get taken out. Why am I? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like trying to see in the door. <laughs> uh, dude, don't do it. Mm -mm. Oh, folks, how many of you out there walking by that house when the door opens would investigate? Uh, do we have a Be least... honest. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Somebody there? Gone. Hello? It's his voice. Somebody there? What is going on? Don't do it's it. It's him. Pass, dude. Pass, come back Hard when it's daylight. Pass. Come back when it's daylight, my man. Flashlight. Something. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Want. You wanted to get closer to say that? <laughs> He's doing the doing the 40-year-old virgin to himself. He just ask the questions. Oh, he's going. Ah, uh, 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 see you later. Watch Doors the closed. Door slam shut. That you? It's condemned. Okay. Oh, the, oh, look at the hands. You see the hands? What the fuck? Oh. oh, it sounded like wings. Oh, that had wings. 100%. Oh. We have a Batman. And there's the hat. There's the hat. And that's how we end it, don't we? No. Nope. Oh. Oh. Ah. That would have been a hell of an ender. That would have been. Lisa. There is so much stuff going on with this show. I, I, oh man. One thing I have asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Body of Christ, Lisa. Amen. What the? I know. Oh, I can't believe they're doing it this early. I had a feeling, but. Father, what are you doing? I had a feeling this was going to happen. Body of Christ. What are you doing? I don't think the. No, she she's going to do it. She's going to try it. Oh. oh, okay. So we just. It's going to work. Come on. The mom's eyesight. That's what I'm saying. I, I wanted to wait until the end of the episode, but no, honey, what is wrong? No, with she you? can do it. She if this can. Is a joke, father, it, it's not funny. Look at her eyes. She's gonna do it. I knew it. Holy shit, Lisa. Oh. Oh, I, oh, I knew I gotta get goosebumps. Oh, I got fucking. <laughs> look at my arms, dude. <laughs> oh, me too. I got fucking like bad goosebumps. Wow. I, I knew it. Fuck yeah. Oh, get the fuck out. Up Sorry. the stairs, yeah. too. Sorry, I shouldn't swear while we're in church. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to have some kind of powers because the mom, now her. Mm -hmm. Body of Christ. And. Amen. They were always there drinking the wine or whatever, so like they were pretty consistent. Oh, oh wow! There's so much going on with this show. It's so much. Wow! So much going on. That that felt like dude. That was... we had the content of like a three-hour movie in a 50-minute episode. Oh, that was it. What? I was having so many, guys, I was having so many thoughts during this. I was writing stuff down like crazy because there was just so much stuff going on. First off, um, I forgive me, uh, but the the older lady who had dementia, the, uh, the doctor's mom, I think she, when she said that the pastor was John, I think she had like a moment of clarity. I think the pastor is John in a new body somehow. He's like reborn because they were talking about that throughout the episode with Easter's his favorite holiday. That's a time of rebirth and, and resurrection. So I think that he's John. I think the old lady saw it right off the bat. Uh, and I think that as, 
as I'm just going to call him Pastor uh, John here, as, because that's who I think he is. I think the more people he sees and the more people he gives communion to, they start to heal. Now, I think the simpler the the problem they have, like maybe the eyesight, it comes back. Father Paul, okay. Um, I think as it's something simpler, like the eyesight, that starts to come back a little bit quicker. We saw with the people who were consistently there. Um, so I think there's a lot more going on there. I was I wrote down in my notes that that Lisa was gonna walk. I had that written down. I knew it was coming because there was just there does. was so much build up to it. I just I had a feeling, and I I thought it had something to do with them taking the communion, and of course uh, Father Paul's uh, influence and wanting to do something good and. Apparently he's got some kind of uh, some kind of powers that that we don't know about. Um, I thought Riley's dialogue there in the uh, in the church uh, rec room, uh, whatever you want to call it, rec center, was really good. I thought that was some fantastic acting between the two of them. That was outstanding, a real highlight of the episode for me. The beginning with all the camera shots, how they just they stayed with it, like the interaction of three, four different people in the beginning when they were finding the cats, which seems like it was like three episodes ago that we saw that, um, and. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop with what I got. I don't want to hog the thing. I want to talk to the guys. We'll get episode and ideas uh, flowing about this episode. Uh, I mean, wow! What an <laughs> absolutely incredible episode. And I and I, look, I know this is it's not Hill House and it's not Bly, but I think out of this little trilogy, if you can call it, that we're going through, this has got to be one of the most captivating episodes that I think I've seen, if not the Agreed. most captivating episode. Um, look, the the conversation. Um, that we saw between Riley and the pastor in the AA meeting was was incredibly powerful and brought up a lot of um, real thoughts. A lot of real thoughts yeah, that people have who, who aren't religious. And I mean, talk about an incredible answer from the pastor saying, you know, and, and look, I, we're not going to get into people's personal beliefs, but just just a rebuttal to that, saying, well, you know, the belief in God or you know, God doesn't take away. Personal, personal accountability, accountability. Yeah. Uh, which was an, an interesting response because Riley's points are very valid and the beliefs that a lot of people um, have. Um, you know, so that was incredible. Um, you know, I, I I didn't write it down and I, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to come across as being insensitive. But it's interesting that you wrote notes about Lizzie walking again. So um, if, for those of you watching new, and I'll make this real brief, I, I work for the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, and we have a bodybuilding competition. We have a, a professional wheelchair competition each year. So um, the majority of the gentlemen um, can't can't walk at all. There's a few that maybe could stand for a few seconds. But generally speaking, in somebody who's been in a wheelchair for an extended period of time, usually, and I know this isn't everybody, so it's not a blanket statement, usually see a significant amount of atrophy in the legs. And because she had leggings on when she was rolling through the town, I actually thought, like, her legs don't look right for somebody who's been in a wheelchair. Now, I know there's there's controversy as far as TV shows using people who are actually in wheelchairs to portray people in wheelchairs. And I don't ever blame shows. Like, if, if you're trying to find somebody who's a good actor, right, like this person fits the role, they're an actor, I don't think shows and producers should be you know, automatically have to pick somebody who's in a wheelchair if they can't find somebody that they, they think is suitable to portray the, the character that they have in the story. But I did I did find that interesting. I'm like, wow, I'm like, they didn't CGI her yeah. legs at And she all. wasn't in it very long, I don't think, from the way they talked about it. <laughs> yeah, hunting accident. So that was an interesting point. But wow, was that, you know, when the mom, the, the, all of a sudden she didn't need the glasses. That was yeah. kind of weird. It was interesting. Um, was... And then she stood up and walked. And it, it felt really cruel, right? Like, it felt like, okay, this is really messed up. And you saw the look on the pastor's face. Then what happened, like, I got... Yeah, he like, was like, come on, you can do this. I got, like, know? just, like, <laughs> crazy, crazy goosebumps. Because, it, it like, obviously, maybe not in this context, but it has happened before. Look, we've all seen various motivational stories about, hey, look, the doctor said I would never walk again. And with all due respect, you know, you know, stick it where the sun doesn't shine, I'm going to walk. And it's, you know, it can be a really motivational thing. So that was cool. Um, you know, of course, you had your your, your creepiness of with oh. the, whatever that is, the giant. I mean, it's got two eyes. It's not an albatross. I can tell you it's that. It's got human-like arms. And it's now taken out two people. The one thing I did find interesting is that the, the young guy who we presumably lost in the beginning, there wasn't anybody, like, looking for him. So that was 
that was interesting. There's just so much going on in this episode. You know, we've, you know, for, for a long time, even before we started doing reactions, like when we wrote our OG podcast, <laughs> we talked about most hated characters in movies and oh, stuff like that. Of I, course, I've got something here for got, that. I wrote that. Got, uh, you know, the mom from The Notebook, the mom from Titanic, <laughs> you know. I mean, there's a lot of people that... Dolores uh, Umbridge. Dolores Umbridge, yes. But this, uh, look, I, I, you know, and I think a lot of people can relate, you know, when, when people harm animals, I, I think it's... Um, I, th I think it strikes a nerve with a lot of people, and this Bev did it um, just to spite the, the guy. Because from what we saw, yeah, in the first episode, we saw the dog growl a little bit, but there wasn't any sort of indications that the dog was a menace. And uh, I think you have to be a really lousy human being to do that, and uh, even more so somebody who, you know, claims to be a religious person or somebody who's supposed to have, uh, you know, hold themselves to a higher moral standard because of their, uh, their, beliefs and their affiliation with the church and things like that and i think that was really powerful too because we you know it's it's interesting you see somebody like the pastor who's he's got what an amazing character <laughs> what a I mean, it's like guy. every i mean who's ever writing for him who's ever writing for him i mean everything he says it's like even if you're not religious like the stuff he's saying like you could just watch this tv show and pull some life lessons yeah. out of it i think he's doing great but we're seeing like the polar opposites of people who like are religious and that's like very much in real life you have people who are like super judgy and just lousy people overall but oh i'm a person of god and it's like oh well can't imagine you know god or jesus or any other you know religious figure would want you acting like that towards the other people in your life so it's it's almost it it, it sucks worse when you see somebody who you know charades as being somebody who has you know good morals do something like that to another human being and you know to have that guy go back and say well they they go way back right mm -hmm. yep. so Settled. you know that was interesting you know the sheriff got uh you know to get a little bit you know closer to him and saying look i believe you so that was nice i'm sure that was and i shouldn't say i'm sure you know it was a relief because he like, well, finally, somebody believes me. I like how they panned Aaron Green right away and they yeah. showed her. She knew right off. Oh the yeah, yeah. Her. I mean this, this. I mean everything so, about this show so from good. start to finish. They, they pull you in with the the cats on the shore and what could it be? And then look, you got Ned Flanders there. Wow, you know, it could you know, could have could have been the baby sharks. It's like all right, dude. Like <laughs> no, you know. not close. <laughs> um, but just so much happening in this this particular episode i mean i, I gotta be honest um I, I enjoyed hill house and i enjoyed Bly, but if i two episodes in this this for me is 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 the, the top as far as this this trilogy goes this episode was phenomenal so good yeah i want to start off with that uh impressive open i i mean we have a bunch of different timers here that are not totally in sync just yet but i'm gonna guess that was like five six minutes of that opening where again mike flanagan doing a one steady walk and talk kind of shot i thought that was great especially for the length they went uh if they did some fancy transitioning in there it was flawless yeah. so kudos to the cast and crew uh on that one uh bev man is she i feel like in hill and bly we there wasn't like in a like someone that you loved to hate mm -hmm. in there because you know we got a maybe, lot maybe going on. Peter a little, Peter a little, Peter. I said yeah. Peter, 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 Peter a little bit. Bly maybe yeah, a yeah. little bit, but not not to this level. not to this like. Uh, so to your point, yeah, Peter and it's could only be two there, episodes. Bev, Bev is like really made yeah. her character is yeah. really like. Usually, when you go after the dog in any movie or TV show, people <laughs> instantly hate you. <laughs> Yeah, and well, even just before the dog, right? Yeah, like, it right. was instant that you all like you wanted to give a quick benefit of the doubt, but mm -hmm. it, the more she kept talking, the more you're like, man, I don't like this person at all. Yep. Oh, but if this episode worst. really put like a stamp on like yep. full out heel, uh, so I'm really curious to see how her story is going to play out because I have a early prediction is that Amatross thing is going to end up swooping her out and everyone's going to get the big cheer. Early prediction, probably way <laughs> off. Think she's gonna fly. <laughs> see ya, <laughs> see ya, Bev. See you, see you, Bev. Good knowing you. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you know, great job so far. Two episodes in of making everyone, well, at least us, hate Bev. Uh, Riley, I feel like I know you guys kind of 
spoke on that very well, so I'm not going to add too much to it, except that I feel like Riley, they wrote him as, like, half the audience. Mm -hmm. Like, easily half the audience could easily be him mm -hmm. in that scene. Yeah. And yep. then the other half probably could be Father Paul, potentially, sure. or... You know, you just have your middle. Of yeah, like, some variation thereof. Yeah. yeah, I feel like the the writing team did a very good job of this is half the audience in Riley, this is half the audience here, and then the rest are just or, or whatever kind of mixture. But uh, I thought that was really well done. Dialogue was perfect because to I think both of you said it. You know, a lot of people do feel that way. So I thought that was really well done. The bird, the albatross bird thing, Batman, whatever. <laughs> the, you know that that thing is getting. Uh, they teased it just ever so slightly in the first episode. They did a great job here uh, to, to the two people. For sure, the one, Ochre, is yeah. who was for sure taken. Uh, I want to go back and look at how that was set up again because the, all that flying, I was, my eyes were all over the screen. So as soon as I saw the uh, the, the young kid there, I was just kind of like, all right, what's over here? What's over there? Mm -hmm. So I didn't really see too much. I want to go back and rewatch mm -hmm. that. But presumably, he done. Uh, and then the eyes yes. of that stick figure. That was like, good. man, like right up on the. What is the going window. on with that? Oh. Like that is like there's yeah. so much going on in here. You got your main plot mixed in very well with subplots. So mm -hmm. I, I got to say, this is uh, yep. two episodes in. And I know a lot of people in the comments have been saying that that this was like a really good series. Yep. Uh, and you know, out of the three so far. I'm still intrigued. I, you know, I'm still trying to figure out some stuff, but that's all I got for now. I mean, that was that was some really uh, a really good episode to me. I will admit, it started off pretty slow for me, but man, that last I think it was the last 20 minutes. It was just <laughs> so. The, the thing that I find fascinating is that there's so many compelling stories going on right now. Yeah, that what? doesn't yeah. the monster seem like secondary or tertiary to you guys? It's a like little bit. for yeah. me, the big thing is like what's going on with with Riley and 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 the pastor. What's going on with Bev? The relationship between Riley and uh, and uh, Aaron Green. Like all that's going on, and that's like front and center. And then I'm like, oh yeah, there's a monster like doing ridiculous things also. And you almost kind of forget about it for a second because you're so wrapped up in the the acting that they're able to do for us here you know and there's something to be said uh no one does it right he has like a a net full of actors a net pool that he likes yeah. to you know he pick from Christopher nolan, folks. nolan uh and then flanagan here i mean yeah i mean he's got a hell of a again a hell of a crew here mm -hmm. where of course we're gonna see kate probably in almost everything that he directs which is totally yeah. fun uh fun and cool and then he still con comes back from Hill and Bly, which I think is something to be said, you know, with some of these actors. Because, again, I'll go back to my uh, what I said in the first one. Like, it helps my investment more. Mm -hmm. So I know uh, Flanagan has that movie coming out with, I think it has a star-studded cast. So now I'm going to kind of go back and see who's been casted for that and see if he pulled anyone from this. You guys remember when the cats were up on the beach? They all had the neck injuries and the, yeah, the sheriff's the, spot. the blood was blood gone. Was gone. Got ourselves a vampire. I think we have ourselves one of the Cullens. <laughs> on the ah, could Edward, be. Could be. he's on the tear. Well, Poor Jasper. I just, I think Jasper. that the the old pastor is is the new pastor, and that that's going to be tied in somehow. That would some make way. all the sense in the world because with the mom, no more glasses. Uh, Lisa, Lisa is able to walk. Can walk now. Like, okay, so he knows that he got a new body in power. Did yeah. the did the mom who has whether it be Alzheimer's or dementia when she was talking, even at that scene up against the window, did she not seem significantly more alert? Alert, yeah. and Where? I know what I like. Yeah, when the pastor was there earlier, the pastor was there earlier. Yep. With, yeah, and gave her the communion. So it's, the past, the communion. The pastor there. was yeah. there earlier with her, gave her the communion, and she was like. Totally out of it when he was there, and remember he had to bring the cup up to her lip, yep. and she propped up in bed, and she was like, "I know what I saw." You know, oh wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if it is the communion that's doing it. It's got to be something or something tied to him. Though the one real quick right, thing man. that I wanted to ask you guys, kind of take a left hand turn here. How do you think 
Riley and and Aaron are gonna act as they're kind of old high school crushes. Like, do you think that that feeling uh, goes away, or do you think when two people who maybe used to date when they were teenagers they go away for let's say twenty years, fifteen years, they come back? Do you think they almost kind of remember the person who they used to be? It's easy to slide back into. That? So, well, I think I think that goes a lot of different ways. I think it's very easy. Look, this is just human. You, you know, when nature, when you. Uh, you know, when you achieve a certain level of comfortable comfortability with a person, I think you can be separated for a long period of time and like you come back and there's there's familiarity there, right? That's why it's so easy to go back to an ex and things like that. You know, we you know, we put on rose colored glasses to look at the past and things like that. Um, it, I think the really interesting story that they present is they're obviously had a history and she's pregnant, but um, for what we know, um, whoever the father of the child is is out of the picture and it creates like this like interesting dynamic because like okay let's say she had the baby and the baby was you know one years old or two years old or three years old and riley comes back you wouldn't think twice really about him like trying to rekindle something yeah, if she story. was a single mom um, it creates an interesting dynamic because she's pregnant but if she's not with the father and there's still feelings there, I mean, obviously it creates a, a different dynamic, but it's like, okay, so I think they, they very much did that because look, had, had she come back to the island with her three-year-old daughter or whatever, or son, yeah. and he comes back and That's it's like, oh, easy. hey, we're going to date, you know, single yeah. mom, whatever, you know, they're dating. So now it presents a little bit more of a challenge as far as them rekindling any sort of romance because she is pregnant, you know, and that's not That's a layer. It's, yeah. it's 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 something different, you know. That, yeah, and I don't think that, Riley's in that headspace right now. I think he's just looking well, he, for he, a friend. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't, but, you know, there you can tell there's, like I said, there's familiarity Absolutely. there and that they yep. still, you know, they still get along. You know, a, a big thing that I will say, though, is like sometimes, you know, it, it, you think, you know, we watched recently Love and Monsters, you know, and in the, in the show, our, our main character hadn't, you know, seen his love interest for seven years and it's like you know he just thinks he's gonna go back and they're just gonna go <laughs> right back perfect. to where it was and look sometimes you know seven years five years two years just you know people can change especially when you start talking about 10 15 years mm -hmm. a lot can change and sometimes you think you're gonna go back and this person that you may have had feelings for a relationship or had you know great memories with you think you're gonna fall right back into that rhythm and just kind of pick up where you left off Sometimes people change a lot, and the, the person that you were with just isn't the isn't the that that person anymore. So, it's such an interesting dynamic. Like I said, the fact that they, um, you know, that the, the, they wrote you know her in as a as a somebody who's you know you know in a, midway through a pregnancy um, is is very interesting. But it's as as Diamond Dave said, it's just another layer to this mm -hmm. this story and something That's that I think was very well thought out. And I just I honestly like this is oh, two episodes in. I am I am so hooked oh. on on this way more than I was I think for Hill House or Bly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five more to go. And like you said, it's only more gasoline poured on the fire here as we go. Yeah. So. So much going on. Can't wait to see where all the characters go, where things end up. Twists and turns are coming. You guys know it. So for Diamond Dave Damone hitting my microphone, that's the Appleton Oak on Mesa Quinn. We're going to see you guys back next for Midnight Mass. <laughs>